Hello my butterfly babies and welcome to my channel. This channel is designed to help you break out of your cocoon and to rise and fly. So today's pick a card reading is good news for you. We want to see what good news is, is happening for you, what it is, and let's go ahead. I'm going to start and help you pick your pile um, by picking a charm for each pile. Okay, pile number one, pile number one, pile number one. You've got a coin, a gold coin. Okay, so pile number two, pile number two, pile number two. You've got a little blue diamond. Okay, like a little hollow blue diamond, or it's like, and it's turquoise color, which is interesting. Okay. Pile number three, pile number three, pile number three. You've got a key, a gold key. Okay, wow. Okay, so let's start the reading. Or actually, let's look at the cards first, and then we can start. But let's look at each pile. So we've got pile number one, butterfly spirit transformation, the number eight, with this gold coin and the yellow aventurine crystal. We've got pile number two, the enchanted fern grotto refuge, the number 16, with this little turquoise hollow diamond charm, and the, and the howlite crystal. Okay, and pile number three, eagle spirit freedom, and the number 13 with the turquoise little, um, crystal heart. Okay, so these are your piles. Please pick your pile and I will see you at your reading. Okay, let's start with pile number one. We want to see what good news is coming for pile number one. Let's see. Pile number one, if you selected this card, Butterfly Spirit Transformation, the number eight and this little gold coin with the, with the yellow aventurine heart crystal, this is your reading. So first of all, Butterfly Spirit Transformation, now that's crystal clear. You're, the, the figure is, is the, emerging as the butterfly and there's a huge pearl. So they've, you know, just like with the cocoon and with the oysters, there was hard work involved, but now you are rising as the butterfly, you're rising and flying, and there's a coin involved. So you're rising and you're going to be experiencing prosperity in this transformation, with this transformation. So the good news involves transformation and prosperity, and also really good fortune and good news with this, green, uh, with this yellow aventurine. I'm hearing um, like a lot of creativity that's bringing um, good news and abundance. I'm also hearing like it's it's bringing um, oh gosh, what is it like? You're br it's bringing you a lot of positive energy during this transformation. Okay, so let's see what else. What good news does Pile One have coming at this time? Oh my gosh, open to abundance. Yes, we just talked about this, and there's the yellow again. So look at that, open to abundance, believe you deserve, accept plenty and prosperity. Yes, you are going to have plenty and prosperity. So not only are you gonna have prosperity, you're gonna have all of those creature comforts, luxuries, um, you know, all of those things that bring um, comfort to you, material wealth, you know, and just, just being able to feel free, comfortable, and, and enjoy it, enjoying the prosperity. So prosperity is on the horizon, pile number one. So your good news is definitely connected to prosperity. Wow. And also, like I said, enjoyment and being able to, to relax because when you, when you have prosperity, it takes away a lot of other things that you normally have to worry about. Okay, so let's see what else. With money, income, career, finance, please speak and tell, tell us what pile number one, what good news in career, income, money, finance, abundance, wealth, career, income, please speak and tell us. The king, look at you. I powerfully lead my mission. Yes, so by being this king, this king is bringing you this prosperity. And king can be, like I said, king is just, it, it can be for either, you know, either genders, but I'm just, it says king, but meaning royalty, meaning you are on the top 
top of that mountain looking down because you're living in that comfort and that opulence, that luxury that this prosperity is going to provide you with. Wow. That is, and you look so peaceful because you know that, like I said, you don't have the worries that you had, you know, before you receive this prosperity. Okay. Oh my gosh. I started to shuffle and this came out and it says windfall of abundance. I hadn't even fully started shuffling, but we're still going to keep that because it flipped itself before I even started shuffling. So let's see what else. Please speak and tell us. So we already know that this is all about money, 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 abundance, abundance, abundance. But let's see what else. Repel number one. Please speak and tell us. What do they have to look forward to? Abundance again. <laughs> oh my gosh. <laughs> number one. So first, the first one that flipped itself when I started shuffling, it says a windfall, windfall of abundance. So again, it's enough to transform your life. And that's why you have this butterfly transformation with that huge pearl because this amount of prosperity is enough that's going to literally change your life where again you don't have to worry and it's funny because you have the eight and eight is all about abundance and money also so so far everything you've had has been abundance so and this is eight too i just noticed that so we have eight there and eight there whoa that is wild i just want to show you that because i didn't realize you had two eights so eight eight and even 888, you may want to check that and look it up because it's it's definitely about abundance, okay? But let's see what else because the other ones is abundance mindset. If you think of your abundance as something that happens in the future, then it'll always be one day away from you. So it says, so, so see, feel, think, and speak of abundance as something you already have in the present moment. And that is what you will experience, yes. So to bring this abundance to you faster, I'm gonna put this here because I just like the colors of that abundance. And these are one, two, three for abundance. Um, but the, the, you have to be in that mindset. You've gotta get out of that, that lack mentality if you're like, oh, you know, and, and you're constantly feeling like you, you know, that's why I said your worry is going to go away, but you've got to focus on and believe that this prosperity is coming to you so that it, you manifest it faster and you keep those, the negativity and you even have this coin, remember? So you keep that, that negative negativity and that lack and that prosperity. I mean, you keep the poverty, I'm sorry, mindset away and you stay in the abundance. So you say, I am already. So I am abundant. I am prosperous. I am wealthy. I am rich. You say it in the present tense. You don't say I will be. You say I am. Okay. So wow. File number one. Money, money, money. But let's check in love. What good news and love does pile number one have? Please speak and tell us. Okay. Recognition. The divine will help you recognize signs and miracles. Okay, so you're going to have some miracles in love. You're going to have some chance meetings and you're going to have signs and synchronicities and miracles that are leading you towards your true love. And that's the good news. The good and, when, and recognition, I'm hearing also that you are going to, when you meet this love of your life, if you if you're not already with them, you are going to instantly recognize and have recognition that you knew them in a past life and that they are your truly, you know, your soulmate, your twin flame, your, um, your true love. Okay. And that miracle of that, that divine love is, is on the way, you know, or, and if you already have your divine love, it's getting stronger. So let's see what's going on. Let's see for pile one. Please speak and tell us what other good news do they have to look forward to? Please speak and tell us for pile number one. Okay. It says, assert yourself. Go for what you want. The time is ripe for soulmate connections and birth of a child is also likely. Wow. So this is telling you. It's ripe for your soulmate connection, just like we said. And again, you will recognize that person. It's like you will feel like you know them already because you have been with them in a past life or many lifetimes. And again, you want to also assert yourself. Remember, you are the king. This is what you are this is what you're becoming. But remember, we speak in present tense. So you are the king. 
And again, you assert yourself and claim your material abundance now in the present tense. Claim it, claim it, claim it. I'm going to link a video on how to claim your abundance and, and an abundance um, video that you can, you know, meditation that you can play to attract more this this good news abundance on your way. So let's end the reading with final three final wisdom inspiration advice cards for pile number one regarding your good news. Please, please speak and tell us. We're going to shuffle and pick three. So let's shuffle, 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 and let's pick three. So let's do one, two, three. Okay, so let's see the pile number one. Success is your birthright, yes, and that's why you're going to transform. And this, this that means that this abundance and this success was, you know, it, part of your life plan. Okay, so it's so it's guaranteed. Wow. Okay, so and you're going to transform and really become. You have a glorious future. Wow, wow, wow. Yes, you're going to be sitting on the top of this mountaintop feeling so good and comfortable with financial freedom and prosperity. Wow, pile number one. And last but not least, look into your own eyes and say, I love you. Yes, you don't want to forget to love yourself. You know, you have a lot going on material-wise and financial and all that prosperity, but you also have to give yourself love and kindness. So as, as odd as it may feel, please look in the mirror every morning and say, I love you. And it will bring that positive, loving energy into your life, which also brings that soulmate faster as well. Wow, pile number one. This has been your reading. I hope you enjoyed it. You have a lot of wonderful things coming your way and a lots of good news. So if you did enjoy it, please like, subscribe, and share. And until then, I will see you soon. Bye, my butterfly babies. Okay, we're going to move on to pile number two to see what good news they have coming, okay? So let's see what good news Paul number two has coming their way. Okay. Pile number two, if you selected this card, the Enchanted Fern Grotto, Refuge, the number 16, this little turquoise diamond charm, and the white highlight, this is your reading. Okay, so first of all, Enchanted Fern Grotto Refuge. Now, in this, in this um, refuge, there are a lot of very beautiful things, okay? So what I'm hearing is that you are going to go into a period of refuge where you replenish yourself and restore your spiritual, physical, mental, and emotional reserves, okay? And this this diamond is telling me that in the area of communication, you are going to shine like a diamond, okay? And you can see that you're gaining your power. You're, you're, it's like you're generating it in your refuge, and you're going to debut it to the world once it's ready. So your good news is that you have a lot of power that you're recharging your batteries for. And the howlite is basically a stone that brings you that peace, that calm, that rejuvenation, that balance, okay? So you're going to experience that during your refuge, okay? But let's see what other good news for pile number two. What good news does pile number two have? Please speak and tell us. Good news for pile number two. Please speak and tell us. Good news oh, for pile number two. Please speak. Please speak and tell us. Okay. Listen to your heart. Awaken your psychic abilities. Tune into the infinite. Okay, yes. So while you're in this refuge, you're going to awaken your psychic abilities. This is telling me that you're highly psychic. And this white is also like a purity. Anything with that white and that sparkly white light. You've got that purity, that supernatural spiritual power, and those abilities that you are going to emerge and communicate like a star once you emerge from your refuge. So that's that makes sense because look at this. See inside her little crystal, inside her little ball of energy, there is a unicorn, okay? So it's like you're releasing your inner powers, you're, you're unlocking them. 
So that is part of your good news. And again, you've got the stars. You're going to shine. Okay, wow, pile number two. So let's see. What good news for pile number two for income, money, career? Wow, finance. Okay, we're going to take these three. <laughs> oh my gosh. The communicator. Yeah, we were just saying that you're going to communicate. Look at this. Wow, and they're all green. And again, like I always show, not all these cards are green, okay? So you, and you already have the green. So again, that healing is going to happen in the grotto when you're in this little private healing refuge. But I, once you get out, as I said, you're going to emerge as the communicator. And what you're going to be communicating is your vision. Okay, it says words have power. The world is filled with possibilities. So here you are. Okay, and what's, which is wild is that this here, when you're in the refuge, is where you're going to get the message for your vision. So it starts with this. It says, I bring the light of awareness. You are going to get spiritual downloads and psychic information from higher power spirit, spirit source, angel guides, ancestors, and angels. And you are going to receive messages from them. And it's you're going to have a spiritual enlightenment and awakening. And it's going to impart into you an amazing supernatural vision that only you are receiving. Okay, so once you receive that vision, you are going to communicate it to the masses so to lots and lots of people, literally to like, I'm hearing millions of people, okay? And that, but again, that's all going to happen while you're in this refuge. But once you emerge with your vision, you're going to put your vision together, whether it's writing, speaking, um, online, you know, whatever form you're doing it, and then you're going to share it with the world. Wow, pile number two. This is this is really awesome. Okay, so let's see what else. Pile number two. What good news does pile number two have going on right now? What good what what good news? Okay. Clean energy clean energy foods, okay, and moonlighting. Okay. So it says when you find your body. I'm sorry, when you fill your body with healthy organic diet, you increase your energy levels and ability to focus. Yeah. So while you're in the refuge and you see this is all a natural environment. So there's the greens and there's the fresh, you know, water and and all of this is just fresh and natural. So it's telling you that when you're in this refuge period and you're receiving all this spiritual, you know, information, you want to keep your body clean and filled with these high energy, clean energy foods. You don't want to weigh yourself down with heavy, greasy foods. You want to eat light, healthy foods. Um, you may even want to, you know, scale back on some of like the heavier foods and eat more like vegetables, fruits, whole grains, and things like that. There's a lot of delicious ways to make them. Okay, so don't think that, oh, it's going to be taste horrible. Because <laughs> there's, you could even look, I mean, I mean, even, you know, like I said, you can make fresh dishes, you know, baked chicken, whatever you like to eat, or if you're a vegetarian, your vegetarian meals are vegan, whatever you are, whatever you like, you, there's fresh versions that you can eat. And you'll see how much like stronger and more energetic you'll feel. And I'll give you, you know, when you, when you're in that higher vibration, even with food, the way the food was made, you're able to tap into your psychic powers um, easier. Okay, moonlighting. You can start working on your dream career part-time while working your other job to pay the bills. Yes, soon your dream career will take flight and fully support you. Yes, so when this vision, when, when this vision and your psychic abilities come together, once you, right now, you might be working whatever job to pay the bills, of course, okay? But, and you can, but you can do your vision on the side. You can still work on this vision once you receive it and start putting it together on the side when you have free time. And once you start de debuting it to the world and whatever channel, once the money starts to come in, it's going to come in. Eventually, it's going to be at a high enough level where you can stop working that other job, and this will be your full time job, is what it's saying. Okay, so let's see in love. What does pile number two need to? What good news in love for pile number two? Please speak and tell us. Please speak and tell us. Oh my gosh, 
marriage. Okay. <laughs> marriage. A marriage of souls is a union of two divine counterparts blending together. So yes. So either the relationship you're in, if it is truly the one, it will lead to marriage. And for those singles, the next relationship you have is going to be a very serious relationship. Your true love on the way that will lead to marriage. But make sure that you feel it in your heart and that you feel it in your soul and spirit. Okay, because that your heart, soul and spirit will tell you whether that person is truly the one. Okay, so let's see what else. What else? What other good news for pile number two? Please speak and tell us. Please speak and tell us. Okay. Personal riches. I hope you can see that. Wow. This is small successes are likely now and bigger ones are on the way. Yes, we just talked about that. It says finances could improve dramatically, but avoid getting, but avoid get rich quick schemes. Okay, yes. So remember... I just told you that you're still working your regular job while you're formulating this new idea, this psychic, you know, um, epiphany and psychic, you know, message that's going to help you create this vision that will ultimately lead to dramatic financial improvement. Okay. Again, enough where you can stop working whatever job and that will be your main job. Wow, this is really good news. Okay, so let's see what else. Let's end the reading for Pal 2 with three wisdom inspiration advice cards. Well, that one wanted to come. We're going to shuffle these cards and pick three. Please speak for pile number two. Final messages for good news. Okay. Okay, so the first one that jumped out is a big win is coming. Yes, we talked about that. This, this vision that you're receiving in the refuge is going to bring you a huge win and, and personal riches. Okay, you will shine like this diamond once you communicate. Communicate your vision. Okay, but, but take your time to formulate it and to get the, to get the um, information. Be your own hero. Yes, you are going to be the, the hero of your own life because you are going to manifest your vision and your dream and your success with the higher powers. Have faith. Yes. Believe, trust, and know that your divine plan of prosperity is coming together and your psychic gifts are getting stronger to help you on this journey. Wow, pile number two, this has been your reading. You are really a powerful person. I hope you enjoyed this reading. If you did, please like, subscribe, and share. And until then, I will see you soon. Bye, my butterfly babies. Okay, we're going to move on to pile number three to see what good news they have. So let's check and see. Okay. Pile number three, have you selected this card, Eagle Spirit Freedom, the number 13, and the gold key, and the turquoise heart crystal, this is your reading. Okay, so first of all, you have the key. You were given the golden key to freedom. Okay, and I see number 13, which can equal four, which is learning, you know, you're learning things that are going to bring you good news and success. And what's funny, though, is, you know, I'm thinking of 13, the number 13, how, you know, it's considered, sometimes it's considered a bad luck number. But I was just thinking the other day, like, for example, like Taylor Swift, 13 is her lucky number. So she basically turned what was so supposedly unlucky and made it lucky. And I feel like that's the case with you, that this is actually a lucky number for you. And it's giving you the key. You're going to get the key to freedom, freedom of your time, freedom of what you want to do. I feel like you're going to, that is part of your good news is that you're going to experience a level of freedom in your life that you've never had before. So let's see what else. Let's get more information about pile number three's good news. Please speak and tell us about pile three's good news. Please speak and tell us. Ooh, look at this card. Mahatma energy, build your light body, accelerate your ascension. Ooh, so look, look at this. You are going into this golden light and look at what you're going to end up. There's a beautiful mansion. There's a huge like cup, a chalice of, you know, where you drink that elixir of, 
of just good things, all good things, the golden elixir. So this is telling me that right now you need to spend time tuning in to the higher powers because they're going to build your light body, which is going to help attract your good news that will bring freedom to you. And number 29 equals 11. That 11 is a master number. So you have a lot of very supernatural, um, powerful gifts coming your way, okay, that you have the key to unlock. We're going to find out more about it. So please speak and tell us for pile number three for their career, income, money, finance, abundance, income, prosperity, financial, abundance, money. Pile number three, please speak and tell us. The teacher, wow, to know is to grow. And we were talking about that the number 13 equals four, and it's all about teaching and learning and growing. And this is telling you that the teacher, so so you, this is a time where you're going to have good luck in learning and teaching, whether you're the teacher or whether you're the student, or you may not be a teacher teacher, but a trainer or someone with wisdom, you're going to be seeking wisdom from others. And you're also going to be learning um, valuable spiritual knowledge that you need to unlock this freedom at this time. Okay, so you want to focus on learning spiritual insights and spiritual information. Okay, so we've got this card. Wow, look at that. Unlimited ideas, right? You're learning you're, and you're receiving, supernaturally also receiving. So you're learning. So that's what it's telling you, that your, your unlimited ideas are coming from the earthly realm by teaching and learning and from above, from higher powers, okay? So it's time for you to be like a sponge and absorb all of this information and ideas because these ideas are gonna give you the key to unlock your good news and manifest your special wishes, okay? So you're going, it says your mind is one with God's mind. Therefore, you have complete access to unlimited ideas guaranteed to bring blessings, bingo right there. So you're tapping in to the divine and you are also learning on the earthly level through classes, courses, um, even online or self-learning, self-taught learning. Wow, pile number three. So let's see what else. What in love? What good news does pile three have coming in love? <laughs> okay. The good news, illusion, avoid the trap of mistaking a fantasy for a true soul connection. Yes. Okay. So the good news is you are going to, through your connection and through you strengthening your connection with the divine, it is going to give you the gift of discernment and you're going to have a supernatural spiritual gift of discernment that's going to help you see through what is real and what is fake. You're going to know like a like you know how sometimes you meet in like if you're dating or even in a relationship if if your person is is the person you're with is not truly does not truly have their your best interest at heart and their heart is not fully invested in you you're going to be able to see through spiritual eyes and see through the phoniness or the illusion okay it's going to give you the power to be able to know who is really there for you and who has a true heart for you. Even in business and even in life, it's you're going to have that gift of discernment. Okay. And so if you're single and you're dating, you're going to get that intuitive feeling and that intuitive message to tell you when somebody is not the real deal. Okay. So you want to be very tuned in to the spiritual powers and higher powers at this time. Okay, but the good news is by avoiding the, the phony people, then you're going to get the real ones coming and the real ones are going to be amazing and enhance your life in the best ways. Okay, romance. Look at this. Love is set to sizzle. The chance of romance is high for those seeking a connection. Yeah, but again, you don't want any old romance. You want the real deal. So make sure you use your gift of discernment. Okay, and let's see, communication. A reunion could bring love or a rekindling of friendships. A lucky win seems likely. Ooh, so the key, you're going to, it says a lucky win seems likely. So 
you also are going to get be given a key to prosperity. And again, that's going to let you have that freedom to have more control over your life and your time. Okay, which which is great because then you feel you can do what you want to do. Okay. And also it's saying that someone from the past might come back and want to rekindle. But again, you still want to make sure that say they used to be kind of flaky or whatever the case is that they've, you know, that they're truly different and they've changed their ways and your heart will tell you and your mind will tell you. Okay. So let's see pile number three. Let's get three final messages for good news for pile number three. We're going to shuffle these little cards and take, oops, that one wanted to come out and take three. So let's see pile number three, final messages. Let's do two. Okay. So let's look at that first card. Keep going. Yes. Don't give up because freedom and prosperity and all these um, psychic gifts and unlimited ideas are coming your way. Okay. And it says stay focused. Yes. Anytime you're learning or even when you're teaching, you have to stay focused on what you're trying to absorb. And last but not least, you were manifesting a miracle. Yes. Yes, yes, yes. This is not your ordinary good news. This is something very, very special. And again, it says a lucky win seems likely. So you have a lot going on. You've got a lot of blessings and good news coming your way, pal number three. And I'm so, so excited for you. If you did enjoy this reading, please like, subscribe, and share. And until then, I will see you soon. Bye, my butterfly babies.